wonderful Saturday evening and it's time for your number one entertainment update and review show, The Chat, right here on City TV. My name is AJ Akwako Safon and I'm your host. And from now till 8 p.m., I'll be going through all the excitement, the trends, the conversations, and of course, have a celebrity guest to join me right here in studio and have a wonderful conversation on everything that is about the music, the movies, and of course, the entertainment industry here in Ghana and beyond. I'm I'm excited to welcome you to the show and uh, of course I must say a very big thank you to our proud sponsor Good Day Energy Drink. Good Day Energy Drink keeps you going and it's gonna keep us going and uh, you know powering our performance throughout this entire evening and of course I'm here at the chat bar where I have a fabulous cocktail so if you uh, are new to the show of course we have a cocktail specially dedicated to our celebrity guests each week today's cocktail is very exciting the ingredients of course are cranberry juice grenada syrup good day energy drink that's a winning conversation and of course soda water to crown it off with the name of this particular drink is glass of sorrows if you're wondering who our celebrity guest is maybe it might give you a bit of um a, a hint if not let me just get straight to it our celebrity guest for today joining us later on in the show is none other than gospel superstar joe metal joe metal will join us on the show to talk to us about new music um new things that he's putting out and everything else in between right here on the show so inviting you to stay with me from now to 8 p.m let's go through everything in the entertainment world and have a blast while at it welcome to the chat <laughs> I'm 
Se me shesha ya ba fa wa habia ka ba fa no long time Rada me shesha ya ba ya wa no wa ya Tune in to the chat with yours truly, AJ Sapon, right here on City TV. Inviting you to stay with me from now till 8 p.m. as we get into the very first part of the show, and it is a conversation on our music videos, the new hot ones that have been released. And of course, I have an incredible panel here with me who always help me break it down, have some conversations, along with some drinks right here on the show. Starting it off with the one and only, always. Uh, like the yin to the yang you get like you see me you see her the beautiful chris carter hey you look good i was telling you today that you look mm. <laughs> it looks sexy on tv okay, it looks come on come on you know on you, have to, you have to show show a bit <laughs> but i was telling you earlier oh aj what's all this you know. what's going a girl's on gotta come you know, you know it's no, a no. chat i mean it's a chat you know we don't have to have dress up for the chat right, you get <laughs> right right you're looking good thank you how's your week um, it's been good. It's been good. Um, everything's been calm. As, well, my hand is healing, yeah, and I'm ha, trying. Yeah. Yes. So like, I have to start physiotherapy soon. Oh, I wow. can't really do much with the other hand, but Jeez. hey, I'm here. We're glad that you're here through Thank the pain, you. through the pause. <laughs> and uh, let me introduce a new person on the show, but hopefully going to be a regular. The a man who's known for being uh, a movie critic, uh, someone who reviews the movies, someone who knows his movie and also uh the creator of ghmoviefreak.com the one and only tony asankoma hi tony hi, it's good to have you here, it's good to be here. I, apparently we've, we've been friends on facebook for like yeah, over since, 10 years over 10 years this is and it's exciting i know yeah. you see social media does wonders <laughs> thank you for joining us here on thank the show and a gentleman that needs no introduction you see his trademark is all the white of his beard is on one side. I don't know if it's, it's deliberate or you know it's his swag, but the man who has a nice haircut to go with it, uh, a man who writes well, who knows his stuff about the industry, and is here to tell us everything he knows about music videos. The one and only Kwame Dadze. Hi Kwame. Hi AJ. How are you doing? I'm fine. You, you look nice. Thank I, you very I, I'm much. I'm loving the haircut. Like, I it's, thought you it's, were coming to say you look sexy. I, you look sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for joining me. Charlie Bandai Green or maybe Witchcraft. I'm telling you, like Charlie, I didn't even know this until this evening. I right? think that's your wisdom. Wait, it's Mark. It's, it's, wisdom? You should, you should deliver his dye sure? all of it. One size white, okay, and then it'll be like a trade. Okay, I get it. I like Charlie, <laughs> <laughs> but gentlemen, thank you for coming. How's your week? Oh, business as usual, following yeah, yeah. up on the gossips and mm -hmm. all the stories in the arts industry. Just that, yeah. And yeah, turn yes. yourself, it's been an exciting week with all the drama on social media. I can mm. imagine. Yeah. Yeah, so, we've been trying to keep a low profile, trying uh -huh. to see how things go. and Hopefully next week will be better. I love to see it. I love to see it. Now getting into our two music videos as selected by you on our Twitter poll for the week. A uh, gentleman who sort of indirectly created a tune for us to copy copy because the man says, yeah, yeah, dumb. Uh, Jay Bad starting off the music block with yeah, yeah, dumb featuring Skyface, SDW, Reggie, Kweku, DMC, City Boy, I mean, um, yeah, dumb, uh, <laughs> directed by Juni Anan and as well the always amazing Akwaba is back with a new one in preparation for his Lighthouse album he dropped this one and sister take a look Yeah, 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 yeah
Ita nu ye bully. Oba trappers me ni me nigga say me go with the booty. Me ni me da bro say kasa ni jo nigga so bo kasa. Me go move big some pack big beer chest say I'm ready for the kasa. Kata <laughs> And this was our wedding day. Oh, mommy looks so beautiful. Yeah, 25 years. She hasn't changed. She's smart, you know, and still just the full as she's. Dad, you are also very handsome in this picture. By the way, you've changed. What happened to you? <laughs> what happened to me? Mm. I'll tell you what happened. Who happened to me? Dad, <laughs> how are you? It's like you for by your head. Dad, we've been over this time and time again. I'm a grown man now. I mean, you and mom are gonna have to start respecting my decisions to do what I want. Uh, sweetheart! Yes, dear, am I ready? Then I'm gonna need the attitude, you know. Huh? Can you tell your mom what you told me? What I basically said was, when you came down, I would go change. Yeah. I know we're here for. Uh, oh, uh, Guess what? I have a surprise for you. What? Mm-hmm. Surprise? Yeah, a surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My baby. Yeah, I mean. My yeah, yeah, yeah. You have yeah. yeah. other children. Oh. Getting. I thought it was sold out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, very much sold out. Look, you're wasting my time. I'll obey you. I mean, yeah, I even got you something even better. Who could be better than a Kwabwa ticket? Hold your words. Oh, you. uh, free bands. Oh, Dad, the bands go. It's not, it's not happening. Mom, Dad. I like you to be my friend. What's happening? What's happening? Okay. What's happening? Sesamina yugu suna masaji mie Fensu eshi ya bidwa yumie Na mame deni bindie Na midi ya newa Onso dia Ni miu Na spura fonso we Yanka wadomo domo Just hold me tight Light up the fire Fa kwa wadu siswe Nika masu wa simde tebi Na midi ya newa so yeah.
start just like I followed my heart and I found a miracle I see you Intriguing, exciting, must have been all When you send me away, mommy tree, we have it there Let's put our phones away and come do more, do more Just hold me tight, light up the fire And yes, you're tuning into the chat. We just watched Ensisa Akwabwa's new one directed by Jean Edu. And before that, we went into J Bad with Ye Ye Dom featuring Skyface, SDW, Reggie, Kweku DMC, City Boy, Kawabanga, or Kenneth, directed by Juni Annan. In fact, the whole squad, Ye Dom. So it's a perfect song for the Comerican boys. Now coming into the studio to have a conversation with my gentleman and lady to ask them their opinion. I'll start with you, Chris. What were your thoughts about the two videos and which one um, caught your fancy more and which part caught it? Well, it's hard to even say which one caught my fancy because they both <laughs> did, actually. Sure, sure. Um, with the Comerican boys, it meant it's a movement that is here to stay. Yeah, yeah. It's a movement that is here to stay. I mean, they have their own sound, they have their own style. And the J Bad guy, I think, like I said before, it's like he's like he's so inspired by Pop Smoke, or, you know, <laughs> like maybe Pop Smoke is gone, and this is how his 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 voice continues, and and, yeah. and he's doing it so well. And I also like the video because um, he, they kind of put like their their culture, their heritage, yeah. their, you yeah. know, they were not shy. It was not more all that jeans thing. It was yeah. something different. Yeah. And, and, and that will actually catch your attention and ask, I, like, I even want to ask, which part in Ghana dresses like this? Why do they dress like this? You understand? It's like a movie and mm -hmm. it's like talking about history. And also the second video, ooh, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. It's like, from the movie to the song, the way it's playful, to the aesthetic, even down to the costume, yes. like everything was on point. I really, really love it. And I think, um, this, I mean, Ghanaians are actually making videos that, you know, are catching our attention now. We like, yeah. it, we like yeah. it, we like it, we like it. Yes, Kwame. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, yeah, dumb. It's <laughs> difficult to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I think um, <laughs> this year, this is the first time I'm watching uh, a Ghanaian movie. Really? In in the in the in Aquaba's version? It's a movie, right? I believe it is. It shows a happy so, family just having fun. So, in terms of next year, you know, movie of the year goes uh -huh. to. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you see, um, Aquaba, I, I like Aquaba for his creativity, for his vocal ability. But um, what I have to say about this particular song, apart from the fact that the video is nice, the movie is nice is the fact that he didn't give credit to where he remade the song from. Uh -huh. been a, been a Michael learns to rock, that. Sleeping right. Child, mm -hmm. Dito Dito. Mm -hmm. The only difference is the key. The original is in D, this one is in E flat. The same thing, like a cover or uh, an adaptation, if you like. To me, if you wouldn't even seek permission from them, I'm not sure he did, if he did, maybe he should have written that on, on the internet where he posted all the, the songs. He didn't, he didn't even give credit. He should have even written that, oh, this song was inspired by that song. He didn't do that. I know his father sampled a wretched chair from yeah. Leo Iglesias' song, very good. And his father has said on a number of occasions that he sampled or he, he remade that song. Why 
isn't Akwabua Junior doing that? <laughs> Why isn't he doing Perhaps that? Perhaps he is you know, going to. The, the reason I'm Junior doing album. all this, the reason I'm always particular about people giving credit or seeking permission for yeah. works they take inspiration from is the fact that tomorrow somebody might also take Akwabua's song yeah. and if we don't talk about it now, we wouldn't have the moral right to you talk to about it. So Akwabua, it's a very beautiful song. We're not saying it is wrong for you to take other people's song and then we make them. But when you do, give credit, seek permission. Simple as that. Yeah, what dumb dear Charlie Omo Dom, number one on YouTube trending. I know. More than 300k views. And just as Chris said, this is the first time I'm seeing that Saka Boy is doing something away from hip hop culture. Yes. Now they are reliving their own culture. Yes. Remember when Kumerica, the Kumerica craze came, we were like, Charlie, the passport thing and everything, they were too foreign. Mm -hmm. Why don't they do something local to project their culture? And this is what they're doing, yeah. you know. Look at the, the costumes, Whoa, typical of the Shanti Kingdom. A brav wall, yeah. um, painting their faces like that. It's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you So following this um, from where Yao Tog and the other people left off, you best sorry, you know, calling them to action. And then now, you see, you're dumb. When you come, when you kill multitudes, we come in our yes. numbers. So I like it. Both songs are great, but Akabua do the needful. On that note, coming to Tony, your thoughts well, about it? Well, a lot has been said. Um, between the two videos, I'll start with Yeah, Yeah, Dom, because that's where you ended. Uh, for me, uh, I like the fact that you are seeing uh, something different from Kumerica. Mm -hmm. um, I've always felt like anytime the whole Kumerica vibe is dying out, they find a way to remind us that Absolutely. like we came and we are here to stay. And this is a strong statement that Yeah, Yeah, Dom, and that no matter who falls off, America is here to stay and, and the statement is not just in the song, it's in the video. They are showing us that they are all ready, they are ready to face whoever is coming at them and they embody the entire um, Ashanti Kingdom spirit in this song. And it's beautiful to, to see that in the film, as, um, in, the, in the video as compared to the other videos they've done where they try to portray hip hop culture. Uh, they are sagging jeans, bandanas, <laughs> um, you know, throwing dice, you know. Yeah showing us culture that is basically not not ours uh, but this is this is beautiful to watch i would encourage them to do find ways to do more videos such as this to um subtly and subliminally remind people that they are shanties and they represent a shanty culture so thumbs thumbs up to them and for the aquaba video well for me i, I like the set design i like the fact that it starts off like um, uh, a sitcom. Yeah, it's yeah like um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, I, I, I think I saw uh, publications like a Ghanaian Cosby show. <laughs> 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 and I was like, well, yeah. It's, it's, it's a brilliant idea. If you know Gene Edu, the director for this particular video, and you follow his works, you know he's very, um, he's very creative. He's, he thinks outside the box. Mm. Um, um, and I like the fact that he, he's showing a side of, of himself in this, that he can al also make movies if given the chance to and i'm looking forward to him actually taking on the challenge of shooting a feature film and then and encompassing all that he does in music videos to to um to bear in, a, in a, an actual film i like the film i can't say much about the song kwami has said a lot <laughs> about the song and uh, thumbs up to to them too but between the two i would go for yeah we're done we like to yeah. see we like to see now chris a few messages coming up on uh, the two music videos. Yes, so we have um, some messages for Yeah Yeah Dumb video. These guys are proud of their heritage. They have made foreigners read our history and can feel the power of African energy right from Maui. Another one says, these guys have taken Ghana's music to a different level and I agree with that. Um, this is a song that is going to get a Grammy for Ghana. Okay. And when it happens, <laughs> don't say, I didn't tell you. So Jay Lee said so. So um, for the next video, that's Ensisa. Um, we have some comments here. This is what we call African music. This man is full of creativity. God, please, I'm begging you to continue to increase his grace and anointing. Teshi, I mean, Dennis from Teshi. And this one says, Aquabua is ahead of his generation. Classical classic, Desi from Shashi, and that's it.
We love to see it. Well, we're going to move on to the next part of the conversation where we'll be talking about 10 novellas if they are the bane of our industry and how we can improve the Ghanaian um, movie or film or sitcom or uh, series industry sort of compete and sort of match up to what we need. We'll be back with more. This is The Chat. Don't go anywhere. Football Park and Nuntina High Sense as Monza Euro 2020 at your mono. The Sasun Tina TV Susan Who at your mono. A high sense Euro 2020 TV super promo. Can we quad your brand new high sense TV and new board that for pictures near clear and a color near deep sound quality? This would be a one inch high sense TV. So the entry power about down one as you are. I'm gonna corner put you so I'm barefoot. A 15th June, I call him 11th July. A high sense Euro 2020 TV super promo. A my refuse high sense and one and five years warranty. High Sense Hero 2020 TV Super Promo. Akosu High Sense Showrooms. I Ghana for nanny na. What you dear nan say High Sense Everyday Prices for Everyday People. High Sense Official Sponsor at the Hero 2020. It's a good day to meet every challenge. It's a good day to want more out of life. It's a good day to wish for it. Work for it. Go get it. Familiar taste. A delicious indulgent with a flavor you just can't hide. Refreshing energy. Gives so much for so little. For a strong performance, you've come to the right place. Good day energy drink. Why wait a minute to enjoy a good day when every second counts? Good day energy drink. Keeps you going. Excessive drinking can be detrimental to your health. Not recommended for persons under 18 years, lactating mothers, pregnant women, and people sensitive to caffeine. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Your Sunday evenings will never be the same. Every Sunday at 7 p.m., make a date with me, Fermer Dunyami. And me, Nanatsufuo. For Upside Down on a City TV. From setting the facts straight to intriguing conversations. Some people still don't know who someone is in Ghana, you know. Don't underestimate that. Maybe in, majority in yeah. will, but some people. But I believe that so far so good. We're, of we're, course. We're closing the gap. You know, you don't go to school to believe in what school teaches you. You go to schools so where you have the key to unlock everything school teaches you. Fun games and fantastic music. We make your Sunday night come alive. Every Sunday at 7 p.m. on City TV. Politics is scary. I've seen friends of mine mm. go into politics. And some of the things they write, I call us, ah, now you, you get sense. Like, mm. You used to be one of us. Yeah. Expect the, the unexpected, unexpected with Upside Down. Upside Down is proudly sponsored by Vodafone. Together we can. What's cooking? How about finding new ways? to use your favorite ingredient. Just cut across like this, and then bring it down this way. And then you have your diced onions, very simple. Take your meals to the very next level. AJC, I just want to just put in a tiny bit of the oil. Oh, yes. Ah, so that's so this is the mixture. Oil. So this is the mixture, the coconut oil and the... Okay, okay. Join me, Apioko, on what's cooking as I tour various kitchens to bring you new recipes and delicacies. Oh, what's that? And savory. Honey. Honey. Yeah, give me some honey. Oh, you want some honey? Oh, okay. Yes. okay. But there's sugar already. It's a blend. <laughs> <laughs> Watch What's Cooking right here on City TV every Tuesday at 7 p.m.
You're tuned in to the chat right here on City TV. My name is AJ Aquagosabon. Special thanks to First Choice for my lovely hair and a budget clothing for my outfit. And the show is proudly sponsored by Good Day Energy Drink. Good Day Energy Drink keeps you going. Now, getting into a very exciting conversation where now we talk about the trends, the industry in general, and some of the things that have popped up over the last week. But before we get into it, of course, it's time for me to call on the chat's resident bartender to bring bring us a very exciting drink that's been coined after our celebrity guest. Later on in the show, Joe Metal will be joining us right here on the chat. So please send in all your messages to the uh, Joe Metal or to talk about uh, Tim Novellas as we enter into it to hashtag the chat. The chat is as well um, live on social media. So you can tell a friend to tell a friend to tune in. We're live on Facebook. Now calling in for the cocktail of the day is called Glass of Thoros. Uh, it is a cocktail made with cranberry juice, uh, grenadine syrup, good day energy drink, always the special ingredients in it and as well topped up with soda water and it's called a glass of Thoros, uh, named after, yes please bring yeah. in the cocktails, woo -woo. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Of course I am seated here with a very exciting and diverse panel. Um, the media personality Chris Carter, Kwame Dazi, he's an entertainment journalist, and of course, finally, Tony Asankoma, he is a movie critic, film critic, uh, movie reviewer, and as well, creator of ghmoviefreak.com. And now, getting straight into the conversation, and it is centered, or uh, we'll start it off from telenovelas. Uh, Deputy Minister of Tourism designate Marco Crecumante was verted earlier this week and during his verting procedure, which we'll probably get into at some point during the show, he did or uh, was asked to speak on the sort of the dominance of telenovelas in our movie and TV sector. And this is what he had to say. Take a look. But any time... I go home from work. What I see is something that is, is, is not familiar to me. It's not Ghanaian. Even though they are purporting to come, show it in Ghanaian languages. Kumkumbajia, all that. that. Uh, there are the new ones. I find it very offensive. So I go straight to stay in my bedroom. Oh God, I don't, I don't want to have anything to do with those things. But you have your media commission, you have your ministry, you have, and it is growing. It's not limited to just one station. It appears to be the order of the day. That juxtaposed to your statement that the power of television, what we show, what happened to the series that you were showing um, but, but by the fireside. On top of that, the evening uh, Ghana Wood, is that what the name we call them? Gali Wood, Kuma Wood. What happened to them? Why have we lost those contents on our television? Thank, thank you, Honorable Chair. Um, I remember a few months ago or weeks when Dr. Awa Honorable came here, he mentioned that he was going to set up a studio that was going to take care of our film and the music industry. We must be ready to compete as a country as well. Because even if they do not, the youth or the people in Ghana do not consume via television, they will consume via phone because of social media or online activities. And so we must be ready to also shoot films that are exportable, that we can also consume some based on our culture on our television. At the moment, we are not able to compete some way, somehow, because of standards. And that is why I support Honorable Dr. Awao in the studio that he wants to build, so that technology that can match up today's competition we can get all of that plus technical know-how to compete. Thank you, Honorable Chair. You mean on our regulatory or in reg we can't regulate the kind, the content. We can't insist that by law. The the law is already in the making. 
in the making. Yes. And, and the, the content includes regulating what kind of uh, content that radio and TV stations show. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Industry is pushing for 70% local and then 30 foreign. Um, in my last um, conversation with Honorable Kujo Ponkroma, he said they were done with the stakeholder engagement. And so very soon, um, they are going to have a document that will regulate the relationship between NCA and then NMC. It's always been a challenge. And so I'm sure when they are done with that document, we'll have a roadmap that will solve the problems. Thank you, Honorable Chair. And that was what um, Honorable Mark Okweku Mante, Minister or Deputy Minister for Tourism designate, had to say about it. Now, getting into the studio now, um, the conversation of regulation, creating a roadmap, but are telling novellas honestly what the biggest reason or one of the biggest reasons why our movie industries have declined over the years? I'll start with you, Tony, as you look at it. I, my answer would be straightforward no. Hmm. They are, they are not um, a major reason why um, the quantity or the quality of films from the Ghanaian film industry has reduced. Uh, there are so many other factors that I believe we will delve into later on that have attributed to that. But telenovelas have been around for God knows how long. Yes, since the 90s. Um, since the 90s. I, it's 70s, well, let's say if you are talking about the Ghanaian entertainment yes. space. It's entry. I think yes. the first one was Acapulco Bay. Yes. Uh, I, 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 I start I, to be corrected, but yeah. Yeah, I think uh, there's uh, days of our lives, there's uh, young and restless passions, passions so many. Yeah. I mean, and the monkey guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, can we consider a uh, journey to the West? Well, yeah, they are they are they are they are all TV shows, they are foreign <laughs> content. Yeah. So I guess we can put all of them in the same basket. They've been around for very long, and so many other factors have contributed to the decline. Of the Ghanaian film industries and industry, and I don't believe that telenovelas are a, 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 a strong factor. You know, we can talk about the lack of funding, or we can talk about the the, the failure of our local TV stations to want to pay for mm -hmm. content from local um, uh, content creators. Then we can talk also about the, the the lack of law or policy that is supposed to uh, push or enforce that local TV stations actually go in to buy uh, local content. So we can look at a, a plethora of issues that have caused um, the decline of the Ghanaian film industry. We can also look at the, you know, when, when you think about it, I believe that one of the things that killed or has caused the decline of the Ghanaian film industry is um, our decline in cinema culture. I've always felt that we killed our cinema culture a bit too early, and as a result of that, it has affected the Ghanaian populace's interest in local content, basically. Yeah. Interesting enough. I'll come to you, Kwame. Is telling novellas the bane of our industry? No. <laughs> no. I don't think so. So, making reference to what the, the chairman of the appointment committee said, he said that he finds telling novellas offensive. <laughs> and and even, even before that, the Speaker of Parliament, Abam Babrin, had said at a program that um, telenovelas were corrupting the, the characters of women. women. <laughs> you know, because women, because they were copying foreign culture through these telenovelas. And I'm like, like seriously? Well, <laughs> so the law that is supposed to regulate local content mm -hmm. and foreign content would give or make a provision of 30% um, for foreign content, right? Now, let's ask ourselves, with all the telenovelas that have been shown across the television stations, do they constitute 30% of our exactly. content, entire content? I'm not sure they even I, I don't believe get up to that. Mm. I don't think so. Yeah. Now, the problem is that we are not producing enough quality movies to match up to what they are producing. Now, those showing 
these series and, and movies on their TV stations are doing that for commercial reasons. And truly, they are getting sponsorship for that. Yes. So they realize that after all the passion, secreto, diamo, and everything, people loved these movies. So they said, why don't we translate the language into our local languages? So you move around, and anywhere you see three, four women gathered, they are watching telenovelas. But if you tell me that their characters are being corrupted because of these movies, then I can also tell you that, OK, maybe men are watching too much of action movies. That is why they are abusing their wives at home as well. <laughs> you see, so the, the problem is we not investing in production just as Mark said. So we should think about how we can produce such movies. Like we had um, um, this series, uh, the Pusha series, um, things, things, things we do for love. love. Yes. YOLO, for example. Yeah. Now, if we have some of these productions, then we'll be serving some people as well. So we have different tastes. Mm. Recently, Peter Sadufia said that he, he was exporting his movies to francophone yeah. countries and they're going to translate or dub the voices yeah. into their language yes now you want to go to somebody's country yeah. you, but you don't want expand. someone to come to that <laughs> <laughs> you want to sell outside your country <laughs> but you're not happy that somebody else is is marketing the the movies right here in ghana mm. so our problem and i've always said this even with music that our problem is not the amount of um, foreign content we are, we are consuming, mm -hmm. it's about the quality or the quantity of productions we are doing right here. Right. So let's think about it. Can we produce something similar to all these movies, foreign movies we are producing, so that if we can occupy the 70% block, we give them 30%. So we don't make it seem that the 30% is influencing us so much that we don't have anything to offer our people. Now, what is happening is that because there is that gap or that void with our movie industry, we think that, okay, now they can't influence us. But truly, movies can influence. Sure. Because Americans did that. They used movies to tell their stories, to change people's mentality about America and everything. So if we want to tell our stories through movies, through our own content, let's do that. I, I believe that it's about time some TV stations did their own productions mm. or did collaborations with movie production houses. Okay, so we can have series running on our TV stations every now and then in our local languages and English and everything. So, so that we don't keep on blaming these foreign movies on our, our, our TV stations. I think that even if we reduce the, the quantity or the, 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 the quantity of foreign movies on our TV stations to so let's say 10% content, we will still complain. Still we still complain us. if we're not producing enough yeah. Yeah. to make room for that space that is, that is there. So I think basically um, their concerns are a bit valid. It's, it's worrying when you realize that, yes, people are consuming something which is foreign and it is influencing them. But we need to think deeper and think about how we can control that. Mark says something. If you think about we may be banning foreign content yes. totally. Yes. You're not going to solve any problem. There because has people been a are lot watching of through Netflix, yeah. people are watching through Showmax, everywhere. People are everywhere watching. So even aside from the 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 Normal traditional TV, yeah. way of watching movies, TV, people are having other avenues of watching yeah. movies. Yeah. So let's let's think wide and find many avenues of satisfying the, the people. I like that. And then now, um, someone who has advocated for a ban of telenovelas in the past um, is joining us now, CEO of Farmhouse Productions, uh, one of the, the, the best uh, movie pro producers and directors yes. in this country, who is behind Things to Do for Love, YOLO, and other incredible series. Ivan Kwashiga joins us now on Zoom. Hi, Ivan. Hello, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Now, we're talking about telenovelas and 
if they are the bane of our industry and if a ban is something that would uh, help resuscitate in some people's opinion the Ghanaian movie and um, um, uh, series industry here in Ghana what are your thoughts on that do you think telenovelas are behind the decline in Ghanaian productions on televisions uh, on television in in this day and age yes of course um, I, I, you know I once said that the the downturn of the the Kume wood industry is because of the dubbing of foreign telenovelas into local language. I once said that that is the reason why the Kume wood industry went down. The same thing is happening in the Ghanaian film industry. We, um, um, we are a growing industry. We are not like the developed ones that are from India, and Mexico and all that. And so our productions, um, we are, people are now beginning to understand what uh, uh, production uh, is all about. And so as a result of that, we are still working our way up to, to the, the international standards. Now, if um, we have about 100 uh, TV stations in this country, it should be a reason for the industry to, to, to grow and to be booming. But what are we seeing? That's not happening because um, though we have created a channel for our productions to be seen, the cost of producing is quite high. But then uh, because most of the channel owners find buying foreign content very cheap, some of those series that we see are over 20 years old and they just buy them $100 an episode and come to put them out here. and. Um, so in, in that sense, they're making so much money from those foreign contents. And so they don't think that um, they have to, you know, give the opportunity uh, for local content uh, uh, to be made. And uh, I think that we need to follow what uh, other people have done. Like in Nigeria, they have, um, um, they did not really ban it, but what they've done is that local content is shown from a particular time to a particular time. The prime time is given to local content. Mm -hmm. If that is done, what will happen is that there will be work for young people who are found themselves in this industry. They will have work to do, they will produce content. And by that, then we will be developing the skills of these young people. And in a few years, we will be doing things that Nollywood is doing now. And so that is why I feel we have to be a little bit selfish uh, about this uh, issue. We have to know that it is our lives that matter. It's our culture that matters. And we have to try as much as possible to promote ourselves. And we shouldn't see it like uh, doing other people a favor. I heard one of the speakers said that Peter Sedifia is sending a film to the francophone somebody wants to we want to go out there but we don't want other people to come here we are not saying other people shouldn't uh, bring their films here but it is the levels mm -hmm. you know when you look at the number of for local uh, foreign productions that are shown as against the local productions you realize that uh, the foreign com com uh, films are far more than the local uh, films that is what we are talking about uh and yeah. Do, do you think that uh, movie producers or production houses should sort of come to a concession with television houses? Maybe the cost incurred, as you rightly said, is, is quite cheaper when it comes down to foreign, uh, sort of importing foreign productions as against paying or contracting local productions to be done. Do you think that perhaps in the interim until we get more sponsorship coming in from corporate Ghana or a bit more boost in terms of the funding of it, um, movie producers should not come to some sort of concession that allows for content to be taken at a probably moderately cheaper rate as compared to uh, what it is now? Well, you see, the, the, the reality is that the cost of uh, local productions is way, way, way lower. Even if you, you would be, be try to produce it at any it's far lower than uh, a foreign product foreign productions i mean um, the whole season the cost of a whole season of uh, a, a telenovela produced in ghana 
would be equal to the cost of an episode of a telenovela produced in Mexico or in, or in India. So you will see the disparity there. Mm. The, the problem is that the, 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 the foreign, um, the, the local channel owners find that cheaper because most of those films have done their circuit. They've done their rounds in those countries and in those regions. And so what residual benefit is what they are, uh, the owners of those contents are picking up right. from uh, 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 um, by selling it that cheap. So it's not that they have a way of producing it cheaper than us. They are far, far, far more expensive hmm. uh, when it comes to their productions. Right. But the thing is that they've been paid for, they've, they've got their money, they've got their return on investment already. So whatever they are selling out to us is just for residual uh, uh, benefits and it's nothing uh, really to to them that is why our channel owners find this uh, foreign content far cheaper and um, you know I, like i said most of those contents are far some of them 25 years old yeah that they, 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 they bring to ghana so yeah this this is what we, we we have to 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 look at and i was saying that i be, i believe that the broadcasting bill when it comes out it should have elements in it that uh, um, um, will protect the ghanaian content producers in a manner that would ensure that we are able to continue to produce uh, 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 films no it's not just about producing but mm -hmm. it's also about uh, employment okay. generating employment for, absolutely uh, Seeming young people, we Absolutely. I was seeing somewhere today that the population that we the young there's a, a, a youth bulge. We have about um, fifty seven percent of Ghanaian population is made up of young people that are below twenty five years mm. old. What are, the, are we doing for them? How are we going to engage them in uh, you know profitable work? Something that would take them away from the life of crime. You know, and these are things, these are areas. If you look at the value chain of a film production, the right. film production right. industry, it's huge. I mean, the, it, a film can employ loads and loads of people. It Absolutely. goes into all kinds of trades. Yes. And so yes. we have to think about this strategically and ensure that we do not just sell ourselves short okay. by okay. giving all the airtime to foreign productions whilst uh, we make a little bit of profit and then leave ourselves at a disadvantage. Now, in the situation of the Ghanaian audience's taste, which some people have raised questions about, uh, on a general day, uh, when a Ghanaian streams, and if you even look at how our iTunes and our um, chats around reflect, there's a lot of um, foreign taste, if I may say, among the Ghanaian consumer. And in terms of movies with streaming channels available to the everyday Ghanaian, it gives them options to sort of go out there and do it uh, or watch or stream other telenovelas, Korean series, dramas, whatever it is, thanks to the platform of the internet. Now, in a situation such as this, even when the bill is passed, uh, how do you think we can work towards sort of altering the Ghanaian taste or the Ghanaian consumer to sort of prefer more Ghanaian made productions over the foreign ones? Well, I, one thing I know is that uh, Ghanaians love to see themselves mm -hmm. and um, Africans love to see them, their, their images. So if the content is produced and is well produced, mm -hmm. uh, trust me, Ghanaians would opt for that content and uh, will not forego that for anything foreign. We need to have that at the back of our minds. It's the pro the value of the productions, how much you know effort goes into the making of these films. And if we want to really, uh, 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 we create a vacuum by, let's say, limiting. It's not really banning, mm. but let's say limiting, like giving um, prime time to our contents. It means that we, the production people, must be ready to fill that vacuum that is being created. Absolutely. It means that we have to do a lot more work on our side to ensure that these films that we are producing are of international quality, that if they are shown here, it should be possible to be sent outside to other countries for, for those people to watch. Because when we export this content, it brings revenue to the country. Absolutely. So this is 
something that we, we, we have to be very strategic about. And I believe that we have the capacity. We have mm. young people. When we started uh, making films, uh, when we started working in the industry, we didn't have as much. I mean, if one person, those days, if one lighting man says it's not available, the production will not happen. Right. Now, if they, one lighting man is not around, you have 10, 20, 50 people that are able to do the same work, which means that we have developed. So I believe that we, we, we have the capacity right here in Ghana. Mm. We just need a little bit of push to, to ensure that we are able to deliver. And the push doesn't need to have doesn't need to come with money. Mm. I, I've always been saying it. The bane of this uh, uh, industry is mainly how to distribute our films. Okay. You invest your money into the production and you finish the film and you have it on your tape. Yeah. How do you make money from it? Do you have the avenues to show your film around? And when you are showing your films, what are the returns to you? Cinema houses are taking 50% yeah. of it, your, your gate uh, proceeds. It means that um, your, your, all your efforts that you put into the production of the film is halved at the cinema house. Wow. So it means that you don't really make that much. And so you need a lot more cinema houses and a lot more avenues to put you out your film yeah. to be able to make, uh, uh, to, be able to, to make any impact at all. Uh, are we looking at the Francophone country? Are we looking at countries around us? If you look every, uh, on every side of this country, we have Francophone uh, 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 neighbors. How are we going to be able to use uh, dubbing that is being done here in Ghana, which mm -hmm. Uh, we've been complaining about uh, that is the telenovelas. Can we dub into French? What can we do in order for our films to get out there? I have not seen a, dis a film distribution company in Ghana here. A film di a company that is specializing in picking up films and, and telling the filmmaker that, okay, from this production, I am going to go through this route. I will show this film in these places and I'm able to make you this amount of money. Mm. You do not have that in this country. Mm. And so how can you be producing content and you do not have an outlet? You go to a TV station to want to show your series and they tell you that go and find sponsors mm. and, and come and pay us. Wow. You, you, you understand? Yeah. So you have to find money to produce the films. Now look you for have sponsors. To find sponsors to come and to go pay the TV stations to show your film. Uh, 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 to show your content. So these are the, so any, anywhere a filmmaker turns, it's, it's really, really difficult uh, for them uh, to, to, to make uh, things happen. But meanwhile, the film industry can become one of the highest NS, uh, 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 foreign exchange NS for this country. Hmm. It can rival uh, some of these uh, 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 gold, cocoa, and all that. Yeah. Look at what's happening in Nigeria. Absolutely. We can do even uh, even better if we also put our push ourselves into it. And so that is what I've been crying about and now, talking about. Uh, thank you very much for for that, Ivan. Now, before I let you go. Um, Two quick questions. First off, maintaining the quality. Uh, you've uh, qu correctly highlighted that we have the capacity to be able to uh, put out all the content that we need. And uh, while the bill is being discussed, first off, how do you think we can maintain the quality um, to ensure that the Ghanaian consumer is excited and loving it? And as well, secondly, before the bill comes into play, what are maybe the two or three um, strategies or, or ideas you can put out to those who might be tuning in uh, government stakeholders which can help the movie industry in the interim until we get to a point where we can do a 70 30 and prioritize more Ghanaian productions well um in terms of uh, quality as you said uh, one of the things that uh, uh, it's a problem for filmmakers in this country is the cost of equipment we buy the equipment. There's no equipment gear house in this uh, country where you can just go and, and loan a camera to film. And so, and the cameras are becoming far, mm -hmm. very, very expensive. And when you bring them into this country, because of the cost that you are buying them, you are also bound to pay very heavy duties on them. If we want an industry 
uh, out of uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the film, it means that we have to be a bit strategic about it. I believe that if the government passes, uh, 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 gives us some rebate on the income, uh, import duties on film equipment that we bring in, that can also take a bit of the burden of the film, the filmmakers. Mm. And then again, uh, when the films are produced, to there could be a little bit of uh, uh, this thing, uh, uh, um, uh, a rebate or some kind of um, uh, allowance for us to be able to 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 make some uh, income on the investments that we make we, we make because film um, is a very capital intensive. Uh, uh, project, of course. I believe, yeah, and and I believe that if we are able to put in place a a a, 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 a very interesting distribution system, mm. for my own, um, I was um, very troubled about this, and having been exposed to uh, the development of apps and all those things that I, I, I've I've done in the corporate uh, productions that I, I used to do, um, we put together product. Uh, uh, app developers and created what uh, it is, is a, now yes the streaming app, app yes yeah the streaming app that we have created uh, that is the way to go i mean i believe that uh, we need to be uh, innovative about how uh, we push our content out to to the audiences yes the tv stations would want to buy our content very cheaply but if the content can be put onto an uh, an app like uh, farmhouse movies yeah. and a film the filmmaker can make returns on his film mm -hmm. then the tv stations uh part of it would become like the residual uh, benefit that i was talking about in okay. which case it would be picking up these things for for far cheaper and then that would be good for them mm -hmm. so we have um we've developed this app and what one thing that we've done about it is that we have um okay uh, opened it up for other producers to come right and, and be able to to monetize their films right, there. right and so right, they are hoping right. that they would also take technology uh, uh understand that technology is the way to go absolutely problems, absolutely yeah. thank you so much Ivan, for joining us to have this conversation hopefully next time i'll be hosting you in here uh but thank you very much for making time out to be with us and i'm um, looking forward to all the great content coming up on the Farmhouse Movie app. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now coming back in studio and having continuing the conversation, but getting Chris's thoughts on it. Um, Ten novellas, uh, as pointed out by by uh, at least Kwame and Tony, is not the bane of the industry. Uh, I haven't even stated that, but it's more of placing emphasis on the Ghanaian productions. What do you think we're doing wrong in that quest? Well. <clears throat> It's, it's it's actually very complicated because one minute you want to blame the TV stations, another <laughs> yeah, one minute you want to blame the TV stations, another minute you want to blame the people consuming it, right. another minute you want to blame the people Consum producing and yeah. creating. Like it's 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 very complicated. It's a mixture of everything because the TV stations got to make money. Absolutely. And the only thing that can bring them money is obviously the telenovelas because the content creator or the movie person is not willing to sell cheap. And honestly, there are a lot of content creators here in Ghana. Like, I, I have been in that business before, to the extent that I have traveled out to, you know, to sell. So I know a bit of the whole marketing of content. It's, 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 it's sad when you go out there and then you see these TV stations going out there to buy the Indian, I can't call names, but I saw the list. I saw yeah. what they were buying and I was like, wow, wow, wow. And I'm here trying to sell something to you. Mm -hmm. and. And you know, I'm trying to sell something to you and they're telling me, go and look for your sponsors. So it's just the same thing he said. I'm like, we spend so much money in creating something, but you want us to go out there. And now to the mindset of the people, the mindset of the people, I think they like, they consume new stuff because in their mind they feel like, yeah, our stuff is a bit mediocre and all that. So I just think if the the quality can change a bit storylines and we should remember it's not just about his ivan is talking on the movie side but then is the only movies we have on tv oh, no animation. you understand there are so many things there are, there's animation there are shows yeah. you know little little things sports shows music shows other kinds of shows so like like it's 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 gonna be a 
it's going to be very hard to say 70% and 30% because what will fill those spaces? But once, once maybe we, 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 we give that capacity to the people, yeah. then don't match up because match up. now yeah. you don't have the ability to go and buy 70% worth of content to bring. You need to create yeah. 70% me, locally in Ghana. Tony. For me, I believe over the last couple of years, the quality of Ghanaian content has improved. Mm -hmm. And I say that with a lot of authority because I've gotten the opportunity to watch a lot of Ghanaian content. And I think over the, the, the last couple of years, the quality of Ghanaian content has improved. What's left is winning back the audience. Hmm. And I agree if, if people would say, or the argument should shift that, we've lost our audience to telenovelas. Mm -hmm. And now the focus is to try and win that audience back. That's why I always take my conversation back to bringing the cinema culture, because that's where it all starts from. Mm -hmm. And even if you look at the distribution of film, it starts from cinema, right down to um, uh, streaming uh, uh, platforms. Because even if you look at streaming platforms, they have its own challenges. Streaming platforms open you up to piracy. Yeah. Streaming platforms basically means it's, it's like at the end of, of the product life cycle of your film mm. because that's residual income. And even thinking about um, content that is created for TV, like she said, like TV shows, uh, TV, uh, 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 live TV shows, I believe the quality is Getting better. It's yeah, getting yeah, better. Yeah, if, yeah. You, if you think about it, um, you 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 look at it as though it's for people who have not paid attention. They do not realize that, but it has increased. And I believe there's an audience for all kinds of content now. One of the things that has helped the telenovelas grow is when they when when they we started dubbing them into Ghanaian language. It opened it up to a much wider audience. Absolutely. The average market woman can now sit at home yes, and understand and what exactly. Alejandro and whoever are talking about because they are speaking um, a Ghanaian language. That doesn't mean that we do not have content creators that are not capable of creating content to fill that blog. Yes. If you look at, I, I don't want to mention other platforms, but recently we've seen platforms that have put out quality Ghanaian content. Yeah. I can mention the titles like The Day, Inside Day. Out, yes, you know, yes, that are, yes, are yes. receiving a lot of great reviews and appealing to uh, a, a much more urban, hip, young audience. Yeah. And I believe once they are enabled, and that's where the, uh, the conversation about um, TV stations who are supposed to be uh, an avenue for distribution also come in and make a conscious effort to meet content creators halfway. No, but rather, what they're yeah. trying to do is when you bring it to them, they'll be like, okay, mm, great. Then mm -hmm. they go like, we can do it. Then they go yeah. do what you have presented to yeah, them. Yeah. So a lot of TV yeah. stations now actually, actually the ones yeah. creating their own content yeah. and they're not even buying from others. Yeah, you, you, you take the idea to them and, and then, then they run off with it. That's it. Okay. There's that conversation. Well, th then that, that's a whole conversation we need to have about <laughs> intellectual <laughs> property theft <laughs> and, 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 and what you should be doing if you're presenting ideas to such media houses in the first place. But in, in the switch of something you just mentioned, yes, um, I, I realize that some. Um, Platforms such as DSTV have created an yes, all Ghanaian yes, yes. channel of yeah, Magic. Now, in the switch, it doesn't, it, didn't, it doesn't occur to me that they are getting as much content as they should. They actually are because, and, and I think what they are trying to do is to keep to a certain standard. Yes. That before they accept your content, you need to meet a certain standards yeah. so that they keep it well balanced out, so that we don't get to the point where we, we start seeing all the things that we did not like on that platform on and, and that's why they, okay. are, they are gauging I, I think it's a smart decision on their part to try and keep that standard to to make sure that only quality content gets on there and well that's even a, a this that's a paid platform mm -hmm. but look at the possibilities of all the free to air stations taking it upon themselves to engage local content creators mm -hmm. to let's say have you remember the, there was a lot of um there was a lot of Bars and attention for local content like Ultimate Paradise, yes. um, things, um, you, do for things love. you do for love, Sun City. Taxi Sun City. Driver. But then, you see, you know? I, I feel that like that was a point where it was a lot more wholesome audience back then. Everyone was sitting in front of their television at 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. and yeah. then tune in. Now yeah. we're all on the go. The, the world has evolved, the world has changed. A lot more people are taking their, con their content on the on go, the ball, yeah. on streaming platforms, on their phones. I mean, a lot of people are tuning into the chat now via Facebook as against sitting in front of the television. 
a TV. Kwame, coming to you. Now, have we evolved to the point where we are courting the attention of such streaming platforms that we're getting our content put on these streaming platforms as fast as our other compatriots in other African countries? I think the last time we came to talk about this, we said we're not doing as expected because how many of Ghanaian movies can you find on these platforms? And I remember somebody, I think Zion mentioned that there are some apps for um, Shelley, if you put Manson's movie yes. production, power. and how many people know about this? Should they consolidate? I mentioned well, that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I it mentioned be. that. Why don't you come together? And then Maybe five, one. six producers come together and do that. But let me take you back to the TV thing, Please. which was the, the premise for the chairman's remarks that um, he finds telenovelas very, very offensive. Yeah. But when he comes back from work, comes home, and then you see them watching. <laughs> no, I'm watching them. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you go sit on television and you advise producers of movies, you advise TV station owners to give them the platform, why don't you give the same advice to the corporate institutions? To the yes. Very true, very true. Because they are going to sponsor. Airtime is perishable. You can't just wake up one day and say, I have this content, some mess, put it on a, a TV for me. You, you can't do that. It's because a business. We, it's business. We need to get our money back. You see, so meeting each other halfway, there should be somebody in between there. Who is that? The, the, the investor, of course. No, but you see, I, I, I think that a lot of, um, of these people that we yeah. want to invest yeah. have not really even understood what they will get out of it. That yes. is it. Because if you look at Nigeria, even the banks, even, even, the, even, the, even the even the yeah. Yes. Even the banks have yes. platforms where you can. Even the banks have their own. Um, uh, uh, yeah. themselves even through their YouTube pages yes. with content. Yeah. You know, pushing. You like. So you ask yourself. I asked myself one time. I even ask people. So wh why can the bank sponsor this show? Why can the bank? Yeah. Why can I talk to why the banks? And, and you go to talk to the bank. You're like, oh, why we're not ready for that right now. I'm like, okay. But, but <laughs> and I think that, that, that is that, why shows like this are very important. Right. That is why we're having this conversation right now, mm. to educate them. Let them know that it is a very lucrative venture. Mm -hmm. So enter into it. Right. When somebody brings you a content for TV, whether it's series, whether it is whatever, you just make Listen. sure that you support, yeah. you know, just sponsor, invest into it. So the TV station gets money to pay us. Yeah. Paper, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's a form. So you also get something to buy content. Buy content. Exactly. I like, I you like, I like. It? <laughs> if not, la wo. Chale la wo. You can just give you your our platform just like that to stream uh, your movies. It, it's not, it's not possible. It's Absolutely. Not gonna and on okay. that note, yeah. we're gonna go on a quick break. When we come back, even more goodness right here on the chat. Keep the conversation coming in. Hashtag the chat. And we'll be right back after this. When you hear motivation, you should know it's Jay Scratch on the beat. Kuku Dalente. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, Joe. Yeah, Brante. Rockstar. What it is, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sikeni e boku ni e hado. Ha. 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 Claiming outstanding, no, but how many men rem? It's you, of course, they are outstanding. Then I'm you, co, we are landing, branding song. I'm Mr. Braff and Pong. It's an Amelia, I'm a funny coco, so come when the mic is on. To the new vest, yeah, yeah. Joe, they make catch ya, ne, ne. Anything better than money, day. We are brand new, you may be a family, yeah, yeah. Hey, 
yeah, 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 with the master suit, now so come with the gun can do. Security was service, yeah, yeah, best, yes, you can't hear. Yeah, 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 Underarms, you don't usually think about them. You protect them from sweat and odor, but that's not enough. What they need is something that takes care of them. So they feel good, whatever you put them through. Introducing Dove Antiperspirant. It goes beyond 48 hour protection, giving you long lasting dryness and soft, smooth underarms. Dove Antiperspirant cares for your underarm skin like never before. Good Day Energy Drink keeps you going. Available in major supermarkets and shops near you. Excessive drinking can be detrimental to your health. Not recommended for persons under 18 years, lactating mothers, pregnant women and people sensitive to caffeine. This advert is FDA approved. Gojile <laughs> E hang bo shane, moni bo oile e wo wo doin. Na moni bo Israele e wo wo doin. Mi asang e won biko biko. Yehova abo e abo e abo wa la yeshe yeshe. Abo ko je komimba e kaje benami. Cashina no fair. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> My help comes from you, Jesus.
You're tuned into the chat right here on City TV. Going quickly into the final bit of the conversation. A little behind time, but we'll forgive him because we like him so much. The man who's put out new music. Uh, you have to help me with it, with, with, with the, how to pronounce it. Ye. Ye Obuami. Obuami, uh -huh. yes. For us non gas speakers, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a song that um, sort of covers the Psalm 121. Yes, um, yes. I lift up my eyes to the, to the, the hills, hills from whence comes from. my, yeah. Yes, that one. See, yes, I yes. should go to church more often. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but Joe, it's yes, a JJ. beautiful song. Even Thank for you. me that I don't understand the lyrics mm. up until now, yeah. um, it, it's so, it, it touches. True, it does. Um, putting out new music, how has, okay, what was the motivation behind that particular song? Is the sound something that you hold dear to your heart? Has it helped you through some, some, some it, it did. times? It did. There was a time when I was going through something really serious. Okay. And I was really praying. I was trusting God for a miracle. I was trusting him for a breakthrough. And then after the prayer, he led me to that psalm. I already knew the psalm, so I read through it again. And he said, read it again in Ga. I was like, Ga? Like, <laughs> what, why Ga? Because I get the English, so... And so I ordered for a Ghana Bible because I didn't have one. And then I read through. But the more I read, the more it hit me about what really help, or especially the help of God is. Many people assume that the help of God is when I need something, he comes through, Absolutely. gives yeah. me that thing. But there are times that the help you need is already inside of you. But being able to be sustained through the time that you yourself, you're able to channel that power that God has put in you, to access that help is a sustaining help of God. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we look down on those ones and we always want to see the tangible one. There's a reason why some go through that and can't survive, loses their mind yeah, yeah. and goes into depression and all those things. And you go through worse and you still stay. That hand that holds you during that time is also the help of God. Mm -hmm. And so the more I read through, the more those. And so there's a saying that even though you hear me say the same thing, it's layered with a lot of revelation under it. Mm. So I can say help, and you say help, but you realize there's a weight in one help than the other. It's because of the revelation that that individual has received mm. with respect to that. So it's really taking me through a lot. Even me, the song is a blessing to me. I can imagine. Pa, 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 pa. I can imagine. Yes, yes. Now, is this a precursor to a new album? Exactly. So this is a single from the new album. Okay. Yes, Tell us yes. the name of the album. Have you chosen the name yet? We call it The Experience. Oh. So the experience we're about to do like, is the event. Yeah. Okay. But that's so I'll, different. I'll come to, I'll come to ask, like, is, is it, is, are you launching the so, album at The Experience? Yeah. The idea was to do that, but it looks like it might not happen. Mm. So we were still, we're still yes, going to yes, do yes. So a So we few. have a cocktail. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Have, yes. Of Thank course, you. of course. <laughs> I mean, I'm yes. out of God. It's, it's we, happened we, to we me before. Are you serious? I, I drank that and I said, ah, I ordered... I, I didn't, that time I didn't know the difference between virgin mojito and mojito. Ah, so I right. said mojito, they bought it. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so Thank you. we call Cheers. it Glass of Thoros uh, and it's in, in your honor as a celebrity guest for today. But coming it's back, uh, it's yes. working. <laughs> but coming back to uh, the experience, mm. um, when is it happening? What's happening? The experience is happening on the 27th mm -hmm. um, of June, 27th of June. It's a mm -hmm. Sunday and uh, it's happening at 5 p.m the UPSA hall. So we're saying, go to church, finish, go get your fufu, lay okay. down a bit. Come, let's praise God. You know, okay. that's that's basically what it is, 27, okay. 5 p.m. And it's happening at the UPSA hall, like I said. Tickets are going for 100 CDs VIP, 50 CDs standard tickets. You can get it from Airport Shell, Bachona Tota, Tema, Community 8 Shell, um, all the shells. And then you can also just go to www.ticketsmiller.com and you should get a ticket there too. Okay. But we've added one more thing for Please. those of our viewers who are outside um, the country and even Ghana, that maybe where they are, they can't make it. Just have to go to um, www.jometalmusic.com. On that website, you should be able to get a virtual ticket okay. there to join a live stream, a private live stream, okay. just for the event. We love to see it. Yeah. Now, when is the experience, the album coming out? The album on the 9th. Exclusive on the, ninth. on the ninth of July. Of July. Okay, and yes. on that note, thank you so much for being tuned in, Joe. Thank you for passing. Thank through. you for we'll having have me. a longer version I know, at some time. I know. In I know. <laughs> thank you to my amazing audience uh, that have been tuned in the since six thirty p.m. Of course, my guest that joined me earlier was Chris Saza, Tony, and Kwame Dadze, bringing us to the end of the show. Thank you for being tuned in. A big.
thank you to our sponsor, Good Day Energy Drink and Abaji Clothing for my hair, uh, for my outfit, um, first choice for my hair and, and luxury collection for my shoes. I'll be back your way next week with another edition of The Chat. Good night.